Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is May 25th, and that means day 145 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this very cool spiralized flower pot, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 145 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description, there's a facts section. There's also a Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you really help out the channel. Today's episode's about this spiralized flower pot we printed. And for this print, we use Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of silver on our GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. And the results are amazing. This looks absolutely awesome. This is a very, very cool design. It's very heavy too, because we used infill. And we didn't print this in base mode. We printed this in standard FDM printing mode with perimeters and infill and top layers and all that other good stuff. But it looks awesome. There are no layer skips. There are no blobs. There are no blobs. I can't even find the seam on this. This is a very, very cool print. And I really love this design. I'm a big fan of vases and I print a lot of stuff in base mode. But I wanted to print something that was actually um, a, a usable item that could actually hold flowers. And while searching around on Thingiverse, I found this spiralized flower pot. And it has an interior. So this one did not, like I said, did not get printed in base mode. And we downloaded this from Thingiverse, like I said. And then we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, we used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers and three bottom layers and three perimeters. We also ran a brim at zero from the object at five outlines just to make sure our extruder was primed and ready and to make sure this stayed flat on the print bed and didn't peel up in the corners. We also only ran 10% infill on this model because it does need a little bit of infill because we do have a interior top layer that I wanted to be nice and smooth and I wanted it to have a little bit of girth to it, a little bit of of heaviness to it and a little bit of stability because it will actually hold flowers. So this is an actual practical print, it's a functional item. And we ran this out at 45 millimeters per second because I knew my GMAX could handle this very cool geometry. And with all those settings, our final result is awesome. I mean, this is a very, very clean print. The only problem I can find is on these little top layers. And I don't believe the model has proper top layers. So these are a little bit rough and they kind of pick off a little bit, but that's okay. It's still a really good print. And I really love this Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of silver. It has such a unique finish to it. And I really love the way it looks on this spiral vase because it really brings out the spiral aspect of the vase. So I would say this is a 100% successful print and I'm really happy with the results. And I definitely will think about GMAX sizing this in a future episode. Well, that about wraps it up for day 145 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.